So in order to use the plane tool, what we're first going to do is go to the view menu up at the top and then click on show objects browser. What this does will bring up a box over in the bottom right corner and this will show you any and all models you may have on the screen at a time. So in order to open the menu, you'll click on edit and then you will go to plane cut. Now you will see here you will get this grid here. Now this is the grid that will show you where you will be cutting. And you'll notice that there are some very familiar shapes here. We have the arrows, triangles, and arches. What this does is it allows you to rotate the plane depending on the angle on which you wish to cut your object. So again, the arrows will move up and down and side to side and back and right. The triangles will move the plane diagonally and the arches will rotate. And once more again, you have the ability to rotate based on a grid here that will snap to a particular, um, particular degree. So again, this is really useful if you're wanting to cut at say a 90 degree angle, this is a really easy way for you to do that. Now what you'll notice here is that when you have this menu up, you will see that half of the object looks solid and then the other half looks like it's transparent. Now what this is doing, and this is telling you that if you cut along this plane, what will be kept is everything that is showing solid. Anything that is showing transparent will be cut away and discarded if you choose to discard half. You also have the option with the plane cut tool to keep both halves and basically just slice an object in half. But first I'm gonna show off discarding half. So as you can see, as you move here, more of the object turns transparent. And this will allow you to choose what you want to keep and what you want to discard. The last thing I wanna mention is there is a blue arrow here. Now what clicking on this does is it will actually flip the entire plane over. So say for example that you decide you want to discard this half on the right and you want to keep the half on the left, instead of having to manually rotate the uh, plane completely, you can actually just click there. And as you'll see, this actually changes which side is transparent and which side is solid. So this just allows you to choose which half you want to do in an easier way. So what you want to choose here is, so say that I want to choose this half to keep, uh, up here in the menu, you will choose cut, discard half. So that will cut the object in half and discard the half that is transparent. Then on the fill type, you just want to make sure that you choose remeshed. So what this will do is it will, um, at this point where the two halves are cut, it will remesh this so that what will happen is it will make it solid instead of leaving it open. So that will give you a flat surface on this end of the part. So once you've chosen which section you want to remove, you actually just click accept. And as you'll see here, it has sliced away the other half and it is completely gone. And this will leave you with a solid part here that's all by itself. So again, you can again press Control Z or undo to undo what you were doing here if you want to go back to where you were. So that's the option of slicing and discarding half. Now say for example that you just want to have this file and you just want to cut it in two parts. So what you would do then is, you know, um, place your plane where you want it to be. And then up here in the menu, you would click slice, keep both. So what this will do is it will tell the program that I want to just cut this in half, but keep both halves. And again, keep it on remeshed fill. So once you're done there, so what that will do is even though one side is transparent and one side is solid, it will actually keep both. So when you press accept, what will happen is it will keep both sides, but it, you won't be able to tell that it's been sliced. So what you then have to do is come back over to this edit menu and you have to click separate shells. So what this does is it actually tells the program that there are different items here. So you'll see now in the objects browser, instead of one object, we have three. So if you click on them, it will tell you which is which. So it will highlight. So you'll see shell one is the bottom half of this finger bone. Shell two is the top half. And then shell three is the entire. So what you can do here is you can actually turn these on and off. And if you just want to view which, ha which uh, side you would like, you'll see that now these are actually separate files. So this way, what you can do here is now that they're two separate files, you can go ahead and edit them separately and do whatever it is that you like with them. 
So that is the most simple way to use the plain cut tool in Mesh Mixer.